It's really lightweight. I didn't yeah. actually know it was like this. Oh, stop, stop. It's too big. It's our first night camping in the van. Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam Day, a married couple who have spent the last year traveling and living in the back of a small Ford Transit van in the UK. We've had an incredible adventure so far, but van life in winter throws its fair share of challenges. From gas shortages to dodgy park-ups, extreme weather issues, staying warm, but our main problem was the bed being too short for Liam. We eventually reached the point where we thought enough was enough, so we bit the bullet and bought an old big green removals truck with a name to turn it into our new tiny home on wheels. In the last episode, after almost three months of it being built, we finally drove it away and started decorating and furnishing it. There's been a few hiccups along the way, but with each day, we were getting closer to being able to drive off into the sunset on new adventures. Will this be the week that we finally get to move into our new camper van? Subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and let's see what happens this week. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we are having a really exciting morning, actually. It's uh, about um, 10 o'clock in the morning and we're heading, we're in Gloucestershire, we're heading right now to go and get our flooring done in the back of the van. Um, we had a few hiccups last week and that's why we couldn't get it done. Uh, we're now um, ready to get it done. The back of the van's coming on really nicely. This is something that we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, quite excited about it after getting recommended by Rick Beechwood, the guy that built the, um, the cupboards in the back of the van, the cabinets and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll show you more about that when we arrive. We made our way to a flooring specialist in the small town of Stonehouse. This is us. Got the name of the business. Hey, mate. It's really lightweight. Is it? It's so much more lightweight yeah. than the other stuff. I can't believe it. I didn't yeah. actually know it was like this. Yeah, it's lovely stuff. It's really easy to fit as well. Yeah, are you happy with that colour? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a nice guy he is. Um, so he is doing that, he's doing the flooring, and we are going to Costa Coffee, which is just down the road apparently. Um, and it should take about two hours. To go to coffee? <laughs> two hours to, to do the, the floor. floor. Watch out, busy road. And, uh, and then we're gonna head back. Hopefully it'll be done. We went to Costa Coffee for a cup of tea and headed back to see the finished job. Wow. Oh my God, it looks even more gorgeous in here. With, with the colors and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, that looks really good. So pleased with it. Thank yeah, you. Glad you are. <laughs> the flooring just looks incredible. Um, he's done it a really nice grey colour, which matches the blues really nicely. So, and yeah, and it's just lovely. Really, really pleased with that. So we've just gotten back and the floor is looking absolutely incredible, better than we expected. And it was all done by Tom. And yeah. what's your business? Uh, Kingfisher Flooring. In... Stroud, Gloucestershire, where does it count? Well, well, this is Stonehouse, but we've got a we've got a, um, a shop in Sirencester and Cheltenham, but we work all around all around the area. Yeah, really thank good you job, so Thanks, much. Pal. Cheers, really, really appreciate it. That's you, right, honestly, no it's changed everything. It looks awesome. We made our way home, ready to now load the van with our belongings. The all important bed size test to see if you can stretch out. Now the mattress is down, let's give it a go. Okay, pillow there, and my feet are not touching. It's close! <laughs> and what's funny? What's funny? It's about two inches bigger is than, it? than me, whereas Frida was two inches smaller. <gasps> awesome. Gain four inches. Are you happy? Really happy. Can I get to go on this side? No. <laughs> It's really comfortable. I know. This is, what's it called? Custom size mattresses, beds. Very, very good. Link in the description for these guys because they're really good. Although this isn't a custom size one, it's a really good quality camper van mattress. Yeah. It's like some sort of like summer memory foam gel mattress. We ordered it ages ago and it's so good. Oh, so pleased. <laughs> Starting to feel a bit like home now, Janine, isn't it? Okay, so this is the duvet cover and it's from a company called Duvet Hog. And Duvet Hog are the people that we, it's the duvet cover that we had in Frida, but um, that was a double. And so we, we use them again because they're so good. Oh, these are the pillows. They are, God, yeah, this is the pillows and they're so soft and fluffy and they're made out of 100% recyclable, recyc 
Recyclable. What Recyclable. Cl Recyclable. Yeah, cl cl <laughs> We spent some time loading the van until evening set in. My dad made us all a really good carrot and coriander soup with homemade garlic bread and we headed back to do the last bits of clearing and sorting our belongings. So we're almost done loading things up. Uh, this time more than ever, we are trying to be more minimal with everything. Um, you say minimal and then you look at a bloody coffee grinder or um, a packet of minestrone and you think, oh, I could use that. And <laughs> um, so we've got to be careful um, with what we're doing. Um, I've got a feeling we, we know we need to leave here tomorrow. Um, so we've got to go down to Brighton. And so we've got to pack everything up anyway. So we, we can maybe make decisions later on. But for now, I think it's almost a wrap. Good morning everyone. It's a proper, I mean, it, the birds are singing so loudly that um, I could, you can just hear them in the background in these trees. It is spring, spring has arrived. Today is gonna to be a warm day. It's creeping up to sort of like the 18, 20 degree mark. Not now, but later, says the weather. And uh, we're out for a walk in Sirencester. Um, and then we're going back to Janine's parents and we're going down south. We're heading to Brighton and um, it's somewhere that we've lived for the last five years before doing van life. Um, we've done a year of van life and then five years before that and we've not returned for a good long while. Um, we've got a little bit of work down there to do, we've got friends to see, um, you know, beach park ups, the lot. It's going to be just what we need right now and the sun is shining, we can't ask for anything more. We headed towards town and noticed signs of spring everywhere. Oh, it's, too, it's a baby on his back. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Is he okay? He's just getting off the water down there. Oh. It's a bit of a struggle with a baby on your back. <laughs> Come on, son. You can do it. It's absolutely boiling, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Oh my God. It's warmer than I thought it was going to be. It's really nice. I can't wait to get to the beach. So off we went to town, picking up a coffee on the way. We headed to the post office, strolled through the beautiful streets of Sirencester and picked up a prescription from the chemist. What have you got, Janine? <laughs> what do they give you? Well, I wouldn't normally be talking about prescriptions and things like that, but since everyone knows what's going on anyway, um, I've got some inhalers now. Um, and two different inhalers. The doctor is, te is testing it out pretty much. He's just gonna experiment and see if it is that. Um, but I've also got to go in for a chest X-ray as well. So that's the update and we will get to the bottom of it. Yes, at least we're moving forward. Yeah. We headed back home where my dad took me to an appointment to get a chest X-ray done at the hospital following a cough I've had for a few months. It was a very quick and easy appointment. I have no idea why I've avoided it for so long. We headed back home with the aim to leave that evening. Janine's mum's just cooked us a really nice meal. We just packed up the last few bits in the van and now we are ready to go. Okay, so we are just about to go. As Liam said, um, we're not actually fully ready for this. <laughs> to be honest, we haven't finished decorating, um, and but we have to hit the road. We can't um, stay on people's driveways any longer, and plus we've got um, we've got work to do down south that we have to go to. So it's time for us to go officially. So we're just going to have to decorate on the road. But then this is the reality of our lives. It's not um, simple quite a lot of the time. <laughs> so that's just what it is. I'm going to say bye to my parents, and then we're going to go. We are going on the M4 to the M25 and it's the first time we've been on the M25 for blooming months. It was something that we were doing so often when we lived down in Brighton. And we lived in Brighton for five years, or six years maybe, I don't know, one of those. Um, and we, the, the, the M1 took over the M25 for us and they're both just as bad as each other in my opinion. Um, but yeah, something quite nostalgic and sort of after the sort of uh, last few months, I, I got to genuinely, I genuinely mean it, that um, I'm feeling quite excited about going down south and it starts to, it, there's a slight sort of warm feeling inside. I don't know if it's because we're closer to sort of uh, friends and 
people and family down there. I don't know, but it's, it's feeling really good. And we've also just discussed it. This is our first night camping in the van. It's pitch black. We're going to be arriving about midnight. Um, but we're going to go and find a spot and that's also really exciting. We made our way to a seaside town called Seaford where we arrived late and parked up right on the seafront. Are the blinds all good? Yeah, blinds are all on. Just put the light on. Hey, here she is. <laughs> Come through and we'll put the curtain up. <laughs> it's much easier hatch to get through, isn't it? It is. It's so weird, isn't it? It is really weird. As you said, apart from, you know, there's masking tape and we've been driving, but now we're in the back, it's like a proper house. I know, like it's so big. It feels so spacious. And it's all here waiting for you. It doesn't get, we don't have to put a bed out or anything like that. It's all <laughs> the bed, the king size beds behind you. That's, it's just going to be so nice to be able to actually get up out of bed and not feel trapped. I felt so trapped in that bed when you're working and stuff. Time was knocking on, so we decided to hit the sack straight away as we were both shattered. I'm taking it really. <laughs> oh no, that's a oh, It's pretty tricky. <laughs> it is. We're going to have to get a, a ladder or something, but yeah. for now it's all good. Oh man, it looks comfy up here. It looks proper cozy up here. A little nook. I know. <laughs> Just the king size element of it makes make me very, 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 very happy. And this um, duvet cover is so snuggly. Right, well, I'm just going to go to bed. I look out. everyone today we have woken up on the beautiful Seaford beach and this is actually one of my favorite beaches in the UK it is so lovely um, and today especially because the sun's out and um, the sea is just really calm it's actually really inviting I'm not gonna get in because it's freezing but um, I think there may be a few people cold water swimming over there actually so um, yeah, it's a really popular beach for cold water swimming. And yeah, so we've just woken up. We had a really good night's sleep last night. We are off first thing this morning because we want to get out of here and crack on with our day, which we'll explain more in a bit. Morning. Morning. What a beautiful day on okay. the beach. Not like ideal beach um, sort of situation with like these big bulldozers coming by and <laughs> dragging gravel, but um, it's still amazing to wake up and look out and see the sea, isn't it? It's so yeah. nice. And the sun. Um, but we are without facilities. So can we go to Sainsbury's and... Go yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go to Sainsbury's and then go see Harry. Just have sorted. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so we've just been to Sainsbury's. We're now in the town of New Haven, which is right next to where we parked up last night. Um, the guy who lives here is uh, a good friend of ours. He built... Frida last year. He's a busy man, but he said if we can leave the van with him overnight, he'll get the uh, gas plumbing um, heater sorted for us. And also, whilst I had him on the phone, I asked him about the possibility. Now, when we were getting the van built, Liam did offer to put two windows in the back doors, and we didn't want it at the time. We thought, no, it, it, I thought personally it would be less stealth and all the rest of it, and drove it away started decorating it and I started looking at these big back walls uh, doors the big barn doors and thinking my god they're just like big heavy shed doors I need they need something and we need more light coming in um, so 
in the last few days we've sort of decided to get windows in the back and as we're on the south coast um, a million miles away from uh, from the north we're gonna get them done down here I managed to get two real cheap windows off eBay their returns because they've got scratches in so he said if I leave we leave it overnight he'll whack those in as well so we're just going to go and see him now he's just on this estate Hello, mate. How's, How's it going? How's it going? Right. Good to see you, pal. Right. Right. Oh, stop, stop. It's too big. I think it's too big, Harry. I think it's too big to fit in. If it wasn't for all the extra stuff, it would almost go in. Oh, yeah. get rid of all the extra stuff then. <laughs> we spoke to Harry about some of the things we needed help with in the van and had a look at our new windows, which, for resales, were in pretty good condition. We left Harry to it and headed to Brighton. Okay, so we've dropped off the um, van now. So we're off to Brighton where we're gonna spend the day, um, get some food and go for a couple of meetings, which we've got. Um, and hopefully have a really nice day in the sun. Off we went to Brighton, one of our favourite cities in the UK. The bus took about an hour. I tried my inhaler for the first time and we went for a meeting. We wandered around the lanes and seafront, drinking incredible coffee, people watching and just enjoying this beautiful day at the seaside. We got hungry so went to one of our favourite cafes called Idea. What are you thinking? Oh my God, it just looks incredible. Okay, okay, look, I'll go and, um, what do you want? Can I have the corn fritters? Yeah. The with either rice, they've got a spinach thing there, which looks really good, or kale, I'm not sure. Okay. Right next to the potatoes. Okay, cool, yeah. So we're at a place called Idea, and they have, it's like a vegetarian cafe where you go up and um, you just get like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it all just looks so good. Vegan curries, shepherd's pie, it's like proper whole foods, really, really hearty, warm foods. We are outside a um, vegan Mr. Whippy place and we're about to get some Mr. Whippy because we're at the beach. We're at the beach and you've got to get a Mr. Whippy at the beach. And this one, what's your Mr. Whippy made from? Pea protein. Pea protein. It was soy but we uh, changed it because loads of people have got like soy allergies. So. Yeah. Do you want to show him Mr. Whippy? Yeah, definitely. There aren't many places in the UK you can get this. So when you come to Brighton, you've got to come down and try it, whether you're vegan or not, because it's really, really good. Mmm. Give us some then. There you go. <laughs> we finished eating our ice cream whilst waiting for our friend, who we haven't seen in almost two years, to arrive. Yeah, you all right? Good to see you. Hey, mate. All right? You don't mind being on camera, do you? No, of course not. <laughs> uh, Russell, who's just nipped off to go and find a lighter for a cigarette, um, is Janine's friend from school. And when we moved to Brighton, um, you know, five, six years ago or whatever it was, um, he moved around about the same time as well, coincidentally. And Janine reconnected with him. We didn't know that he lived down here. And we've been friends with him ever since. And so whenever we come back, it's always really good to catch up with him. He's a proper Brightonite now. Proper Brightonite. I mean, just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> We had a few drinks with Russell before heading to the beach to grab the last bit of sun for the day. It was so nice to see people out and about, eating, drinking, having picnics on the beach and just enjoying themselves on such a beautiful sunny day. We enjoyed our time in Brighton but we had to leave. Cool, so now we're heading to back to Seaford and uh, our van's not ready yet because Harry's been doing it around work that he's got. Um, so we're staying at a friend's house tonight. She's kindly lent us her floor and an airbed. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna have a couple of drinks and a bit of food and what have you. Um, so that's where we're going now, Seaford. I'm gonna catch the bus back out of Brighton. But a really good day out in Brighton today, really good. We left Brighton to go visit our friend in Seaford. We let ourselves in as she was out and when they got back, had a few drinks. It was great catching up with them. Indy put together some tea specifically made for chesty coughs and some homeopathic remedies. Some drinks later, we set up the airbed and hit the sack. Morning. I'm always I'm always looking down at the phone when you're doing that. Um, good morning. You okay? Did you have a good night's sleep? I did. Did you? Mhm. Mm it's the most important thing. Mm. 
It's a shame we couldn't do two nights consecutive in the van. But, I know. But tonight, hopefully, we're back in it again, and that's it then. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. I'm gonna go and get the tick on the van. I might even drive it back if it's done. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna get up. We made our way to Harry's to check the progress of the van. I hope you're getting them dancing on camera. <laughs> What's that sound? Oh, the <laughs> dance, yes. yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My God, they look amazing. They look really good. We had a chat with Harry about the work he has done to the van before leaving to head to the beach. Going to the range before it shuts, before the sun sets, and uh, getting some bits for the last finale bit of the van that for in the coming days. The fake plants, the um, <laughs> ornaments. Ornaments? I don't know. We're gonna, we need inspiration. I don't know if the range is the place to come for that, but because um, we've never been before, have we, Janine? Nope. We briefly visited a local department store to get the final bits we need to finish decorating the van. We then drove to the beach where we would spend the night and started to get excited and a little nervous about the adventure that lies before us as we attempt to live and travel in our big green removals van. Crazy 